Yes! What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and a determined week. I remember last week I was really excited to spend a few days in the office so that I could get some of the administration side of the business done, emails and phone calls. This week I am determined that my R8 is going to be sold and I am going to be able to start looking at my ne next supercar. That being said, to begin with, we're starting the morning on arguably the most random topic and I never once thought that I would be filming this for YouTube but seeing as these are the daily vlogs and you're coming along with me on everything that I do I thought that you'd be interested in watching me play foot golf it's a new kind of mixture merge of sport football and golf the clue is in the title as you can imagine foot golf and basically you kick a football around a golf course into football sized holes you may have seen this you may have played it before I have never played foot golf before so I'm in my shorts I'm in my Astro turf, so I've dusted off the cobwebs and I'm in Astro turf, and we are headed to the golf course now is it a golf course or football course I don't know what it's called so I'm not sure what you can see I'm gonna take you on the course with me but I'm super excited I've been playing football for quite a few years um, although for the last two or three months I haven't played football at all so what better way to break myself in what the hell is that? Massive rubbish depot through there. Jesus Christ. Um, but I think this vlog is gonna be dominated by foot golf, if I do well. If I don't do too well, then it's gonna be me in the office crying. Here we go. This is the course. We are on, where's hole number one? Up here. So that's hole number one. It's my ball. There's Martin's ball. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go. You go first, go on, you go first. Don't slip over. Avoid the bunker. There it is, straight down the middle. Good shot. Oh. So we're hole two in. Martin's over there. I'm on the green in two. This is a lot of fun. I always knew that it was going to be a lot of fun ever since I saw it. Here it goes. Thank God. Don't touch my ball. <laughs> I thought that was going to go out. There it is. This is my third shot on a par five. This could be an eagle. Go on, bend. Curl. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Firm pass. And could get a hold of one. That's in line. Oh! <laughs> Basically, this place here used to be a golf course, so when we were younger we used to come and just pitch and putt here. So we know the course, we know the greens, we know the fairways. The we don't, yeah. yeah, they're not, the, gr the groundskeeper has just hung up his kit over there and has not done anything for the last 10 years. Look at the green. Go on, you to go. <clears throat> Slippery. The slight right to left. Yes! So as you can see after five holes, Martin is player A and I am player B. I'm not gonna add it up, but I'm two shots ahead. Am I two shots ahead? Two shots ahead. Two shots swing. Two shots swing. With the uh, hole up there. 
found himself in a bit of a rough situation. Oh no, that's going into the ditch. Martin's first shot nestled up just over those trees. Second shot in the roughage. Third shot, he's got to get up and down before he can start making a par. Par five, this one. This is my first shot. It's left. It's coming round though. What a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on hole nine, 220 yard par five. And as you can see, Martin is on 35. And I am currently one shot below him on 34. I think I'm just gonna go low and try and get some skin. There it is. It's just what you need. One shot is leading. Woo! It's gone right. I think you're safe. Oh, played it safe. He's ran across the fairway. Oh, it's not shot three. Another leg. Similar positions. Solid. Uh. What was that for? Super quick turnaround. I'm now ready for work. I feel re-energized. That was honestly one of the best things I could have done on a Monday morning. I know that there's quite a lot of negativity around Monday. You see it all over social media. But ah, uh, Monday morning. Go and play a sport. Go and do an activity that keeps your mind motivated. I'm now ready to work. I've already emailed someone. I'm not going to mention who. It's not who, it's actually what company. Um, there could be something to do with my second supercar. It is raining heavily, but we've got a surprise at SB today. Check this out. Yum. Look at it. The Lamborghini key. making lots of noise. Look at this. It's like blue Alcantara. And it's a manual. Oh, I'm gonna get in it. Oh. oh my God, this thing is a spaceship. The funny thing is, with these cars, is you don't actually face straight forward. Straight forward is probably like that. And as you can see by my feet, you're pointing inwards. And it's the same with this side as well. The way that the seats work points inward, so you're not actually facing straight. So I'm facing straight now, I'm gonna try and get the camera straight. So that's straight. Flick it around, and my legs <laughs> pointing that way. That's straight, and that's, it's just hilarious. Wow, what a crazy early afternoon we've had. The Lamborghini is now in, as you can see right there. The Mercialago is in. Basically, at the moment, there is obviously a lot of media attention around the supercars in London, the Arab supercars in particular, and unfortunately, they're getting a lot of grief for not doing a lot. They're just known or blamed by both the media and the residents as the main culprits for making a lot of noise in central London. Now, Tim, Shmi150, head over to his YouTube channel and check out his latest video to do with the London supercars and the new police law enforcement that's going to be put in place in September 2015 because it's totally unfair. And Tim, obviously, is in a very, very good position, probably one of the best positions to talk about the supercars in London and what goes on on a daily basis. Having been a resident, also owning a supercar, but obviously being car spotting for many years. So head over to his YouTube channel and check that out. The other bit of news as well is there is a big meeting going on tomorrow that I'm not involved with, but it affects me in terms of what 
cars I could potentially be get given as loan cars so that I can review them or drive them or whatever it is. So fingers crossed I might have some information for you either tomorrow or the following day about that. And basically my aim is just to get out of this car because as, as, as easy as it is to drive, it's just not interesting, cool or at all feasible to be putting on the Supercars London YouTube channel. The only reason why I'm vlogging right now is because it's the easiest way of vlogging whilst I'm traveling from A to B. I'm heading into central London tomorrow for the next day and the next day. As long as the weather stays dry, that is what I am doing. But that being said, thank you for watching. I'm now going to continue my journey in the Fiat 500. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, and thank you for tuning in and it, hopefully you've enjoyed this daily vlog. Like I said, the daily vlogs is literally everything that I get up to and I know some days it might not involve supercars, but most of the day it will. And as soon as I get my second supercar, like car after car is literally gonna be coming in. It just seems that there's this limbo phase where not a lot is going on. But trust me, when the next car comes or even before the next car comes, I could potentially have three cars at once. So we're gonna be spoiled for choice soon. And I almost lost my words there. But honestly guys, your support is incredible. I generally have the best subscribers. I feel like I have the best subscribers. You are the best. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow in central London for a daily vlog. Don't know what that looks like. Well, I'm in the background. This is so many fucking photos.